Hello everybody. This video is to show you how to throw a bowl. Um, it's also your first video on the pottery wheel in general, so I do want to go over a few other things. Um, we do have something called a bat, um, and the bats are pieces of plastic that end up being on your, on your wheel head that make it easy for you to take your project on and off. Um, this, this on the wheel head itself, there are two screws that kind of stick up, and there's typically you know, some kind of a hole that you just slide that on, and then you're good to throw on the wheel, okay? Doesn't matter really which side you want to throw on. Sometimes there's a textured side and not, um, but I don't really feel like there's made difference. Um, on these, you'll see the holes here and here. You always want to go with the larger ones because these are, it's not like this is a small wheel, but it's just a normal size wheel. Um, so the, it, it pops right inside of that there. You just kind of click down on there and then this doesn't move at all. And then you just pop that back off. This one is the same way. Your two um, holes are right there, and they would go on there as well, okay? Um, for the bowl, this is good enough. You couldn't use this one for something like a plate, um, so I'm just going to use this uh, for this project. So attach that on there. I got my water. I got my um, tools. So you should always make sure they're clean when you're, and you're done with them. So this is what you should always have. So a large sponge to clean everything. Um, you need a ruler to make sure your measurements are correct. Needle tool, which tests um, how thick your base is, as well as trimming your, your, your top when your lip gets, gets a little off. Small sponge um, for when you, when you pull up on your project. Double ended loop tool. We mainly use the square end versus um, the round end on this. Um, so we use this to trim the foot. And then we have a rubber rib uh, that we use to uh, clean this up when we need to clean up. Also, you can kind of use this to finish um, a, a pot or a bowl sometimes. Okay, so I have my clay that I've already wedged. Um, figure out where your center's at, throw that right down on top of there, and then you can find a good speed that you can throw at. Um, so when you first start centering, you want to go a little bit faster than this. You want to go something probably like that. You don't want to go like this, okay? That's just too fast. So I'm gonna find a medium speed. Get my hands nice and wet. First thing is you wanna make sure that this sticks. So you push it down with both hands. Hands get sticky really fast. So I'm gonna get my hands wet again. Then you're gonna press it down hard. So make sure that it sticks. If it, if it comes off, you have to use this to clean the bottom of the, of the, of the clay as well as cleaning the bat. So they're nice and dry and they'll stick again, okay? First step, again, is to push down on here. Second step, again, make sure your hands are always slippery, not sticky, is I'm gonna do a V-shape, so hands together, and then you push in about an inch, and then you leave your hands still, okay? Your left arm is the most important one. Your right arm's gonna be moving a lot, but your left arm is the one that keeps it centered. So V-shape, you just go in about an inch and keep your hands still. I mean, I could force this off if I wanted to, but you don't want to. You just want to push in, and that, can, that centers enough, and then you slowly take your hands, hands off of it. So the bottom is pretty well centered. Next part is something I call the cry chop. So my left arm, again, is right here, right hand. And you can practice this even if you're just watching this video. Work with your hands and just try to get used to the motions. There's a bone right here um, on the very bottom, on right here, that you want to try to use that to find the center of your pot. So left hand, again, is kind of resting along the side. Make sure it doesn't move. Crying shop is over top of this, and my hands are always touching each other, okay? They're never really separate. So I'm gonna push down, and you only go down, again, about an inch, um, and that kind of flattens that top off right there, as you can see. And that, that move doesn't last very long. So right here, now I'm gonna take this, my thumb and this hand, and I'm gonna split these fingers. So now I'm gonna slide, I call this the praying position, because of how you kind of end up, and you always wanna make sure um, send a couple words out, try to make sure you get the center your next time. So I'm gonna send this, roll those down. If you notice, it starts turning into kind of a dome shape, okay? Now my, my wrist right here, notice that it's almost, now it's actually touching the bat. And my pinky has kind of like created this curve shape along here, pressing down all the time. And my left hand has kept that center. So this is how you center, center the piece. This last step, this praying position, where the thumb is split, the whole hand is hooked together into the other hand, they're all working together, is the key on making sure something is centered. And it's like, well, how do you know what's centered? Just by looking over top of it, 
it looks like a, like a wheel on a car, you know, where it just kind of keeps going around and around in a circle. If I have my finger right here, you know, it's never, it's, it's not like bump, 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 bump. It's like it's a constant touch as I'm touching that, so I know that it's centered, okay? Next up, <clears throat> again, hands nice and wet, both hands together, and then one thumb finds that center, and then you go down. And you want to stop when you're about a half inch from the bottom. I'm going to shut the wheel off. I'm going to grab my needle tool. I want to set this all the way down into the bat like that. I'm going to take my hand and my finger, the tip of my finger is going to touch the bottom of the clay. And I stop and I pull back up again. Um, and it should be about that thick. Okay, so again, about a half inch, about a half inch thick. Turn the wheel back on again. Get to my medium speed. Now I'm gonna take my sponge, get it wet, squeeze water out of it. I'm gonna put two fingers on the inside. Thumb is touching the bat, listen to it. So, so the thumb should be touching the bat. You can hear that grinding sound on there. And now my sponge overlaps my thumb. If the sponge wasn't there, my fingers would be looking like this. And I fit these fingers right over top of that, that thumb. And I pinch, go in about an inch, and now I'm gonna start slowly coming up with it. You never want your fingers to, to snap together. You want the same thickness on the bottom as it is on top. So you should not be tapering it, okay? So when, it's, when, you, when you pinch, you pinch the first time. So again, thumbs on the bottom, sponges overlapping the thumb, I pinch, and then I bring that same thickness up all of the way. Now, on my, this hand is resting right here, so I can kind of use that to kind of guide. If this piece starts getting bigger, I use my elbow and I put it against my thigh here, um, and, then I, and I throw it up like this, okay? But this isn't tall enough for me to do that. I'm gonna do another pull. So again, I'm gonna pinch in about, it, about an inch or a half inch, and I'm gonna bring all that clay up and keep those walls as, as even as I think I can, okay? Now I can't reach in here and down anymore. You never want to put pressure on the lip. So lip is the very top, this is the body, and this is the foot right now. Okay, those are the three basic parts of a, of a pot. So what you have to do, and you've already been practicing this, um, is you're gonna take this thumb in my left hand, you're gonna rest it right there, and you're gonna just pinch with the fingers on the inside and the sponge. So if the clay wasn't there, they'd be touching like this, not like, not like this. But if the clay wasn't there, it'd be touching like that, and you're gonna pinch. So I'm gonna go in. So notice the thumbs all the way over here. Now I'm pinching like this, pinch. Now right here, I know I can bring my, thing, my thumb down again. So I will, and I'm gonna bring this clay straight up. So it has the same thickness. So the lip is a little uneven, so I wanna show you how to trim, trim that. So the trick on, on trimming it is that your hands lightly rest along here. You're gonna take your needle tool and you're gonna rest it um, against the thumb like that, okay? So it's never away from it, but it's resting against, because I can push against my thumb like I am right now, and that keeps it nice and tight. So I'm resting against my thumb. I wanna go down a little bit farther than I think I need to go, and I slowly go in until I know and I can feel a little bit of a prick and then I just lift up with it. And that trims this whole thing. And then you always wanna round this, this edge off. So I can take a sponge, I can clean that off. You know, I can just use my finger and roll it back and forth if I want to, but I have that part done. Next part is you're gonna flatten this into a bowl. So hands again are nice and wet. You're gonna have one hand in, one hand out. Doesn't really matter which one. Hands are getting dry. So remember, always slippery, not sticky. Now I'm gonna put my hand in and I pivot. So this hand is straight the entire time. It's like a board. You don't wanna do this, okay? That'll flatten off the top up here and it'll collapse on you. So keep this as, as, as straight as you can and just pivot those fingertips. Okay, bring that down. And then you wanna stop because you wanna pull out your your ruler. Now the measurements on this bowl 
um, are gonna be three inches by six inches. So three inches high is a minimum height and six inches wide. So right now, I am right at six inches. And I am I'm a little low on, on the height of it. So how do you fix that? It's pretty easy. I'm gonna go back using this, I'm gonna pinch at the bottom down here, and I'm gonna just pull this straight up at an angle. And now I am at, I'm gonna clean this out so I can see it better. There we go. Now, there you go, now I'm at three and a half. So I did more, I was, I was under three. So this is the minimum requirement. So right now, the, the grades that you get in terms of the height and the width, which is three by six, you now have an A for this bowl. Um, I have, I'm not done yet though, because I still need to trim the foot. And I could still flatten this off. If I want this wider, I could still continue to flatten this down. Um, but I need to trim the foot. So I'm gonna grab my double and a loop tool, which again, which is this, using the flat side. The trick with this part again, let's keep it perpendicular. You're gonna hear that little sound there. You wanna hear that. And I mean, don't dig into the plastic. But you're gonna hold this nice and tight with both hands and then slowly go in. When you start getting all that gunk up there, just kind of take it off. And I usually go in until I'm the height um, of, of this. So the distance between here and here, when it's that distance, that's usually as far as I go in. So I have a nice nine degree cut right there. Now, this part right here, this curve, is kind of the, the part where the body and the foot hit. It's a really important part um, because the beauty behind pottery are curves. So I'm just gonna take my finger, because it's not real defined yet, and I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna push into the clay. And that'll define another line on here that'll just make that look a little bit nicer, okay? And take my sponge, clean this up a little bit, make sure I don't lose that 90 degree cut. And sometimes I'll take my finger and stack my fingernail right up against that and just make that a little bit more square-like. It's good, there's a lot of water inside of here. I'm gonna take my small sponge, get all that water out of there. Show my wheel off, right down butcher because this is my bowl. I pop this off, put it on my um, shelf over there, and then, and then we're good to go, okay? So um, watch this video a couple times, especially if you're struggling, you know, really kind of focus in on those, those spots. Come in during prime time or study hall to practice. Um, this is kind of like the hardest project uh, because you're learning everything, you know, between um, the wedging in the clay and then centering it and pulling it and, and, and pinching and trimming. And there's so many things on this one project you learn that your other ones become that much easier. So it's important that you get this, this step right um, because then you can kind of learn all the tricks. I learned that. Uh, good luck on the project. Make sure you clean up yourself real well. And um, that's about it. Thanks.